Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us here today. My name is Klesh and I'm a youth leader with the Career Choice Program with Experience Canada. Today we have here with us Pierre Tabet. Uh, so thank you so much Pierre Tabet for joining us and accepting to interview with us. I know participants watching right now are probably so excited to learn more about your career and how you got to where you are at um, today. So let's just dive right into it. My first question for you is what is your job title? So I'm a hospital pharmacist. Uh, oh, wow. Hospital. oh, wow. Hospital pharmacist. Okay. So as a hospital pharmacist, what does a typical work day look like for you? Yeah. So every day is a little bit different. There's not really a, a set uh, day that happens twice. Uh, but broadly speaking, you know, every day I show up at work and I try and figure out what my day is going to look like. And I spend a little bit of time planning for the day. So I try and identify which patients are, are the sickest um, and are actually going to need the most help and the ones I need to look at their medications. The so most. for participants at home that are like, this is a career for me, like I, I love what I'm hearing. So can you talk to us a bit about the typical education or training required for your, your occupation as a hospital pharmacist? Yeah, so there's a, a few steps to it. So the first step would be getting through high school. Uh, and then going to university for, for a couple of years at least. Uh, and during those couple of years, kind of meeting the prerequisites to then apply to pharmacy school. And that would be another four year university degree to graduate with a, a doctor's of ph pharmacy. Um, so after that, you become a pharmacist, but from then on, you can choose to do a few different things, whether you want to go into community pharmacy and work at a pharmacy kind of near your home or if you want to go into hospital pharmacy and so for the hospital branch uh, we often do a, a hospital residency where we specialize in acute critical care um, which is a little bit different than what you would see in, in community settings they're, they're different jobs so there's a bit of a different training at the end so why did you choose to become more specifically a hospital pharmacist yeah, it's a good question. So there's lots of different uh, types of pharmacists for sure. So the first two are kind of your community pharmacist, your hospital pharmacist. Some will actually work in, in the industry and drug development and things like this. For me, the hospital pharmacy side of thing was interesting because we deal with conditions that are a bit more acute and often our treatments take effect a little bit sooner. Um, so I, I like the aspect of treating more uh, severe problems and trying to see an impact whether you're making patients better quicker in community pharmacy a lot of what we do is helping people stay healthy with preventative drugs and so you don't necessarily see the same kind of night and day impact of some of your your treatments um, so so different just different goals often in that kind of setting oh wow so with that said what would you say you love most about your job? And what would you say are maybe some of the challenges that comes with your job? I think there's a lot of overlap between those two things, right? So uh, one of the, the, the most interesting parts, or I would say one of the best parts about this is the people that you, you meet and work with. Um, so in the hospital, we're a huge team, whether it be the team of pharmacists, working with technicians, or working with physicians and nurses and the rest of the allied health. So that's really great from the, the teamwork perspective. But what's also really important is, and really kind of part of the enjoyment of the job is working with patients and their families to make plans that work for everybody um, and kind of helping them through, you know, something that's not fun, which is being in hospital. Um, some of the challenges are also kind of the same things, right? Working with a huge team is always a bit challenging. Uh, lots of different people, lots of different inputs, different priorities. So juggling all of that is, you know, part of, challenge but also part of the, the pleasure of working in a big setting like this uh, and then i would say the other big challenge which is also a really interesting part is trying to stay up to date with all the medications that are coming out all the time uh, so i graduated a couple of years ago um, and things that i knew then have completely changed and we've got completely different medications right now so if you're kind of curious and you want to learn you know this is a great job but you've also got to be ready to kind of rise up to that challenge and stay up to date that segues perfectly to my next question is for you currently at home that are, are that are watching this interview and they're like yes this is for me what are work experience or programs that would benefit youth interested in this occupation how can you get started if you're in high school or maybe you're in your first year of university is there any tips and tricks you can share with the youth currently watching yeah so um probably the most 
straightforward way of getting involved in pharmacy and seeing if it's for you is to try and work in a community pharmacy as, a, as an assistant and helping out behind the counter, helping the pharmacists and the technicians and the team there. Um, in doing that, you probably have a lot of contact with the patients and familiarize yourself a little bit with some medications and have a good idea of what it looks like. Um, otherwise, there's some volunteer opportunities at the hospital that you can do, maybe less specifically with within the pharmacy department, uh, but it would give people a good idea of what a hospital looks like and, and how it functions as this massive beast that it is. If you could share any piece of career advice with youth, what would it be? So I would say uh, going into a career, sometimes it's good to not have too much preconceived notions, whether it be about the career or what you actually want to do and to kind of keep things open um, to kind of new experiences so you can make new decisions as you keep learning um, through your experiences. Uh, I'd say as long as you kind of stay curious and open to learning more, that you'll make new decisions and learn new experiences and that'll bring you some good opportunities. Well, that's a perfect way to conclude. So with that said, Pierre Tabet, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much for interviewing with Experience Canada's Career Choice Program. Super, thank you.